In this tutorial, we're going to look at the new sequencing options when profile machining in both Aspire and VCarve Pro. Here we've got a panel that's 48 inches square, half an inch thick material, and we've got a very simple sort of racking or shelf layout where we need to cut out each of the different shapes. If we swap from the toolpath tab, sorry, from the drawing tab on the left to the toolpath tab on the right, click and drag to select all of the different shapes. I always recommend checking the material properties. So material settings here, half inch thick material, Z0 is on the surface, and we've got a retract height of an eighth of an inch. That's fine, so click OK. Next, we're going to calculate, create a profiling toolpath to cut around the outside of each shape. We're going to cut all the way through the material, so the cut depth is half an inch. Select the cutter, we'll profile around using a quarter inch end mill. We're going to run around the outside of each shape, and we're going to use conventional machining. So we're going to go anti-clockwise around each of the panels. Now the main thing to now look at is the tab for ordering. So we can order the sequence in which each of the pieces is cut out. If we go with the default, the shortest path, the software will attempt to work out the shortest mathematical, mathematical path around all of the shapes. If we calculate this toolpath, the software opens the three-dimensional view where we can see the toolpaths and the material. We're in preview mode. If we use preview toolpath, it's quite difficult to see the order in which the toolpaths are being machined. If we reset the preview, we can use the video control and we can run the preview to the next retract position. So retract, so we'll cut out the first panel, run again to the next retract, and this allows us to step through the toolpath so it's now cutting out the slots. The next one will cut around the outside of the, the uh, end plate on this, this cabinet panel. We'll do the same again. So stepping through, and we can see the cutting sequence order very easily. And finally, the, the stars are being cut out in the top right hand corner. Now that may be fine for some projects, but if you're using a vacuum table, for example, the little stars you may be difficult to hold down. So you, they may be the first shapes that you wish to cut out. So cutting those out, you'll have maximum vacuum on the table. So there's a chance that you'll hold them in place. So to do that, we would literally say, okay, let's reset the preview. Let's edit this toolpath, go back to the 2D design view, click on the ordering option. Instead of using shortest path, let's use the vector selection order. So now I'm going to say, okay, let's machine star one, holding the shift key down, two, three, four, and five. Then we want the toolpath to come across, and machine this panel, then this panel, then come down and machine this panel, this panel, this panel, and then go back up to this one, this one, and finally finish with the panel in the middle. So we've started, we want the, the cutter to machine the stars, each of these end panels, then the intermediate panels, and then the shelves. So we've used the option vector selection order. So now if we say calculate, let's zoom in a little bit. We have the toolpath selected. Now if we say run to retract, you'll see star one, star two, star three, four, and five. Then we do the grooves and the outer edge. We do the second end plate. So the, the software is cutting in exactly the order that we've specified. And this can be quite important when, uh, when using vacuum tables or machining production parts where you want, you want to be able to take a number of the components off the table while the machine's still running and cutting parts out. So the key to this Profile machining, order, and you've got options for, you can say selection order, we can force it to cut from left to right, or from bottom to top, or shortest path, or a grid option. Once you're happy with the toolpaths, simply set, select the post processor for your machine and save the toolpaths ready to run on the CNC machine. Thank you for watching the tutorial.